15 years uh, Sito, that I have studied this uh, this issue uh, you know um, I've gone abroad I've talked to experts I've visited foreign nuclear plants I've visited the uh, the sites of future nuclear waste repositories I've been to Switzerland I took a bath I went swimming in the uh, cooling water discharge of two nuclear plants in Switzerland that are 10 years older than BNPP. Um, and uh, I'm still here. No, I'm, I, so I, I put my money where my mouth is as far as believing how safe nuclear is. Because in the entire history of nuclear power, 60 plus years, there have only been less than 50 casualties. And these were all in Chernobyl. A reactor that does not have containment was a was a, uh, a reactor in a warehouse. Basically, was uh, moderated by graphite, unlike the Western nuclear power plant, which is moderated by water. Uh, if you to exclude Chernobyl from that figuring, then zero ang casual rate ng nuclear. Three Mile Island and Fukushima included. So it's the safest form of energy ever invented by humankind. And yet we accept the fatalities caused by coal pollution, oil pollution, gas pollution. If you use those numbers, it implies that nuclear has already saved 2 million lives in the world as of now and counting. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, what would you suggest? Because if you say, if you say, 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 okay, Congressman Kowangko, uh, uh, how do you suggest we go about this? If you want to continue to do that, what is the most important thing? Go ahead. Yes. I suggest that we uh, contact the Koreans who are running uh, an identical copy of this plant in, in the form of Cori 2 nuclear power plant. They manufactured all the parts, brand new, including the electronics. We let tell them, uh, run this plant for us. I, it's either you take an equity position in it so that we don't have to put money out, or we put the money out because it's cheap, uh, Sito. It's only a billion, $150 million is what they last voted uh, sometime last year to get it running. And that is uh, the equivalent of a Greenfields coal plant, na brand new. Mm -hmm. But it would avoid between five, four to $500 million a year in uh, imported gas or coal. So ang laki po ng savings sa ating foreign exchange. That's another thing that people don't see, no? The huge savings in foreign exchange. Ang ma ang masweldo ang ma magasto sa nuclear is sweldo ng tao. Mm -hmm. Hindi napupunta sa fuel na sinusunog lang. Napupunta sa sweldo ng tao. Ang isa pang hindi na re realize if you go nuclear in your fleet, you eliminate the entire huge shipping infrastructure to bring the fossil fuels to the country. Nawawala po lahat yan. Ngayon, isa pa, uh, before the, uh, uh, if, if, I, if I may, Sito. Go ahead. Solar and wind will not answer our problems because they are Trojan horses that entrench fossil fuels as backup to solar and wind. Solar capacity factor, 15%. Uh, Sito, 85% of the time it is being backed up by fossil fuels. Wind, 40% capacity factor. 60% of the time being backed up by coal or gas. So if you want to get away from fossil fuels, your only game in the Philippine context is really nuclear power or geothermal. Pero malang geothermal and very highly polluting at namimili ng lugar. So, uh, I think the handwriting is on the wall. We just have to read it. There are also companies who would be nervous or feel uneasy about your suggestion or about nuclear plants because sabihin nila, nako, pag nagtayo ng nuclear plant, wala na, patay na itong mga companies who are distributing electricity or generating power all over the country. 
alam nyo, uh, lahat ng planta may buhay po yan. No? We could do it by attrition. Eh, ang dami ng lumang planta dyan na scheduled ng palitan ng bago. Bakit po tayo gagawa ng bagong coal or gas plant na kapalit dyan? Eh, di ba ang goal natin is to decarbonize? Mm. O di mag-nuclear plant na tayo sa lahat ng incremental requirements ng bansa para unti-unti lumaki ang porsyento ng nuclear plant na magbibigay ng mura at malinis na kuryente. Okay, matanong ko lang. Na-dependable. Yan, ang, yan, yeah. pa, yan pa po ang problema ng wind and solar, no? Mm-hmm. Intermittent sila. Paano po ang kalmadong gabi? No? And that is the time you are supposed to be charging your electric vehicles while you sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Paano po ang kalmadong gabi? Saan po manggagaling ang kuryente? Mapipilitan po tayo mag-invest sa fossil fuel backup plants na matching pairing plants. Mm-hmm. O di doble na po ang investment natin. Paano naging mura yon? Eh ngayon kung may araw at may hangin, itetenga natin yung coal and gas dahil siyempre may araw na at may hangin. Eh sino po magbabayad sa pagtenga nun? Yung mga sweldo, yung mm-hmm. mga fuel na susunugin para mainit yung planta at pag nawala yung araw at hangin, pwedeng pumasok ka agad. Okay. Ma- Tayo ko po lang, magbabayad. 